Good morning, everyone. It's James in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Actually, I'm in Stouffville, north of Toronto, and it is warm this morning. It's about 10 degrees Celsius. It actually is warm because it's been minus two, minus three. That's cold. It's sunny, and I'm going for a jog, and we'll see you later. I stopped at a park. There's a little pond there. It is beautiful. They have a basketball court and that is also an ice rink in the winter it's off season now they have benches a playground for kids there's a splash pad over there for little toddlers a nice place to walk around if you have a pet so i'm going to go that way toward main street Ooh -ooh. There's a Tim Hortons that down there, and then I'm going to work on my Japanese Lotto 6 and Mini Lotto. At Tim Hortons, there's a drive through Check out the line. That's Main Street over there. Tim Hortons. This is Tim Hortons. inside Tim Hortons. Old fashioned glazed. Can I have a large black coffee please? Yeah. That'll be all. All right. This is a large black coffee. It costs two dollars and seventeen cents Canadian with tax. That's a lot of coffee. Oh look, there's the charging port. I left Tim Hortons, and by the way, it's 11:30 local time. It's 12 degrees Celsius. Very mild. I left Tim Hortons. Then I found a convenience store next door. There was this Asian guy. He, he had this kind of stern face, like this. I said, how you doing? He didn't say anything. I handed my lottery tickets. Then I placed my change on the table. I put down $7 and I asked him to check it. He says, it's good. I said, thank you. You're welcome. And then this white guy came in and said, hey, happy. It was calling that guy with that stern face happy. <laughs> There's that park that I was at. I'm gonna run up this way back to Ninth Line and back to my cousin's place. Okay guys, this is something about uh, English in Japan, like teaching English in Japan versus real English here in Canada. Okay, so if you go to a, a coffee shop and order something, then I can say, hi, can I help you? Well, it, it depends. The places I've gone to so far, they say, hi, hi. Okay, and when you're ready to order, you say, I want, not I would like, okay? I want, whatever, and then give me, for example, Timbits, these are little donuts. Give me five donuts, or give me, give me or gimme. All right, and they're gonna say, is that all? It's not translated as, sorry that gay this guy. It says, whereas in Japan they'll say, sorry that gay this guy, would that be all? All right, so real English is different here. And another thing, if you say, in, in Japan I teach, hi, how are you? And I get the kids to follow this, this pattern. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Rather than, I'm good. Oh, another thing is that in the West, there is no money tray for you to place your money, okay? Whereas in Japan, they always use a money tray. <laughs> if you don't know that, you'll laugh or you'll, you'll be uh, surprised to hear this or when you see it, when you visit Japan, there's a money tray here. You hand it to them directly. In my case, I just placed it on the counter. And another thing, you don't have to have straight 
bills straight in cash. You can just crumple it and just throw it on the counter. It's rude, but it's acceptable here. Whereas in Japan, everything's flat, crisp. My bills are kind of crisp, but sometimes I just keep them in my pocket and they're a little bit crumpled, but here it's normal. The row that I'm walking next to is called Millard and up there is Ninth Line. That's where my cousin lives. Man, it's warm, it's 12 degrees, but I'm feeling like 20 something degrees. That yellow thing is called a fire hydrant. That's for the fire department to get water if there's a fire around the area. I turn from Millard onto Glad Avenue and that runs parallel to Ninth Line. There are a lot of nice houses. It is April 1st here in Canada. I am approaching Ninth Line. My cousin lives over there behind those, ha those big houses. There's really nothing up around here. No convenience stores. The nearest convenience store is, oh, there's a jogger in shorts. Way back there on Main Street, that takes about 15 minutes to walk from here. And there are photo speed cameras along this road. The maximum speed is 50 kilometers an hour. You see those cars way over there? They look like they're far away. Well, they're actually going really fast, like at least 50. So if you ever think about crossing a big road in Canada or in the United States, think twice, be very careful. You can either go to the traffic lights and take your chance. It's also dangerous there. Cars often go over the white line or take your chance by crossing this big road, which I'm going to do. Now, if you're not a fast runner, don't do it. If you have little kids, don't do it unless you're going to carry them and you are a fast runner. Is that a motorcycle? There's a motorcycle. That's rare. This, this is the first time to see a motorcycle since I got here because the weather is nice. Why not? Go for a run. Go for a bike ride. Nice. Okay, this road is called John Davis. So I'm gonna cross this big road. See all those cars? Gotta be careful. See that car just turned, turned right. So I gotta be careful. So you're gonna look far, okay? That car is coming really fast way down there. So if you're not a fast runner, don't do it. See, run. Okay. Shit, that's soggy, soggy grass. So that's the way I would do it, but I don't recommend doing it for your safety. Things appear far, but they're actually a lot closer than you think here in Canada. So be very careful. I'm near my cousin's place. I'm going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.